Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we will be, we will be reviewing, sorry if I stuttered, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and these are the Movieverse Turtles. We're going to look at each figure's articulation. I can't help but sing the song from... The second one of the live-action different variant turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. And this is from the sixth live-action movie, I think. These guys are from the sixth live-action movie. And yeah, I got these from Steel City Con. I think for about 10 bucks, if I am remembering right. My memory's a bit bad. And these guys are worth adding to my Turtles collection. Because I love collecting Ninja Turtles. And this is my first complete set of Turtles. Articulation. They got elbow articulation. Full rotation. Hinge joint. You know what I mean? So you get some good articulation with these guys. Bend at the knee. Not very good, but pretty good, huh? And bend at the knee. Head is on a on a ball on a rotation, which is nice. And that's the articulation for my boy, Michelangelo. Next, the articulation for the techie, Donatello. Rotation on the head. Same articulation in the legs. Really good articulation in the legs. Bend at the knee. No ankle pivot. But otherwise, get him in some good poses. I love it. And even this staff is a custom. Because I didn't have the original staff that came with this guy. So I went and took a couple Lego pieces from the advent calendars to make this staff and painted this white plastic Lego piece brown to make his staff. But the head, some turning movement on the head, hinges, which I love, full rotation. I just love these turtles. I grew up with the original 2003 Ninja Turtles when I was just a kid. I never collected any, any of the figures until now. Until late when I started reviewing and collecting. I'm so glad I'm collecting Turtles right now. Because I just love them. Next, we're going to be looking at Raphael's articulation. Hinge on his elbow, get full rotation, and you get his scythe. So he goes slash, slash. Head is on a full rotation, which is nice. No ball jointed head. Hinge joint on the arm. Hinge joint on the elbow. Hinge joint on the knee. Hinge joint on the other knee. And a not bad, good looking figure, if I do say so myself. Next, we got the leader of the team. It is Leonardo. And yes, I know my turtles by name. I know the Ninja Turtles by name. And you get his katana. So go slash slash with those swords. Bend at the knee, full rotation. I just love the hinge and rotation. Bend at the knee. I just love it. For an old school turtle figure, I love these turtle figures. I am definitely going to make it my goal to have a collection of different Ninja Turtles in my toy collection when I find them and when I pick them up. And you're probably wondering what this guy is over here. I threw into this review because I just made this custom 
foot soldier out of a Dollar Tree figure. The head is on a swip on a rotation. Elbows can bend. Same with the other arm. And this is a custom foot soldier because what would the turtles be without a foot soldier to fight? And I do have another foot soldier I am going to review in the in the in January and it's going to be the Rise of the Ninja Turtles foot soldier. So stay tuned for that review. And if you think I should make more custom figures, leave me a comment. Because I did a good job on this custom foot soldier. Even knowing I'm not very good at custom work yet. But I did a great job painting this figure. Making it look like a foot soldier. And that's all there is to say for Turtle Week. On Eddie Hill Review. Turtle Power. And rock on and rock out YouTube land. And don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power.